All right, guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. Thank you again for your company. We're down to just about the final 20 minutes or so until the top of the hour. And with me here is my final guest for the day. His name is Joshua Kilu. He is an innovator and a student at JQuant. Karibu sana to the show. Thank you so much. What year are you in in JQuant? I'm in second year. And what are you studying? Taking mass communication. Mass communication, okay. Yes. So you're studying mass communication, but yeah. you have an invention here. Yes. About sharing information wirelessly. Yeah. How, how did you even get into that? Um, we were trying to solve a problem that we faced back in high school, that is 2016. Mm -hmm. um, that is sharing data. We wanted to watch movies from <laughs> a similar gadget. Uh, okay. And then uh, we were not able to, to watch because everyone wanted their own movie to be watched. Okay. So we thought of um, what if we'd co we could come up with something that can share, uh, that can be able to allow people to watch different content simultaneously. Okay. Yes. So when you're saying watch different content, like uh, they're on their own things? Oh, yes. Uh, that is whatever is stored in the gadget could be 20 movies and I don't want to watch the same movie you are watching. Oh, so, so they're I all can, stored in here? They're all stored in here. But you have your phone? Yes. So they're playing from there, but kila mtu anadiri? Anaona yake, content Very anataka. interesting. Yes. This is, <laughs> I like how, I always yeah. love hearing the stories about how businesses are born. This is from a high school problem. <laughs> I was yes. trying to watch movies. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Um, and um, so, and then of course you're studying communications as well. So I guess it, it, it also has some repercussions into that as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I had a team and uh, a team of four, but three fell out okay. along the way okay. because they could not see the future of it. Wow. Yeah, so so I when did you start this? 2016. 2016. Yes. And you've only been in college now for two years. Yeah. My goodness. So this was basically immediately after high school. After high school, yeah. Is when you embarked on this. Yeah. H how did you even figure out like the tech? Where did you go? Because, I mean, you were in high school. Yes, in a were high school. Were you always nerdy? We had an incubation center. Okay. With laptops and Wi-Fi. Hey, so you're in Shilegani. <laughs> Academy. Hey, sh yeah. Jopi. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Forces Academy. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to your classmates then. Yeah. Um, so did someone help you with this like did you go and talk to a teacher yes we had a teacher in charge of the incubation center by the name mr mbaka boneface okay so he connected he connected us to technology tech tech gurus who helped us with the circuitry and you know, come up with a yeah here in kenya okay we went to gearbox and that is where we made our first prototype but okay. it was not so golden it doesn't have all the functionalities okay. we need Okay. Yeah, so we look forward to um, making it uh, have all the functionalities we need, yeah. like a bandwidth of over 100 people so that it can accommodate uh, libraries where you wow. don't need to go and see it down for, for you to read a book or wait for someone to finish reading a book to have it. All you need to do is just go within the you library environment. Yeah and tap to the information that is in there and it's free free of charge because it's broadcasting a hotspot yeah currently the the gadget i have here does up to a range of five meters wow yes so it's a hotspot of information the way it's people can share like you know your internet on yes. your phone yeah but now you're actually sharing the information the information could be pictures music mm -hmm. movies documentaries yeah yeah so I, I really like what you're saying it can be used for yeah. things like books and especially in this digital age as more of us get into tablets yes, you please. know you can save the environment by printing less paper and whatnot yeah. um, and so those are good things but of course every time we talk about data we also have to be a little cautious um, because there's also privacy concerns yeah. so how are you guys dealing with that? Because I don't want my information. Labda ni kwapa na na kumbe na soma my text. You you know you're looking at my gallery or whatever yes. it could be. How does one protect themselves with such a thing? When when you get the the gadget, it's a one off thing. Okay. It's all yours, so we don't have control okay. over the gadget and okay. any software that is in it. So you you can change the password on your for on your mobile application, 
so that no one can access the data. Okay. And by any chance, if someone tries to steal it and they try to put a different password, it will recognize and sync all the information when you are connected to internet via the phone application okay. and it will crash, like the gadget will crash, it won't be any useful. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how does this work? Because you said how many people can be using? Five, five a bandwidth people. of five people. And these five are people prototype. within five meters at a time? Yeah. Okay. So what is what is it using? Is it using like a hotspot? Is it you, what is it using? Um, we used uh, a technology that allows uh, it to broadcast a hotspot, to okay. create a hotspot. Okay. Yeah, that is just a basic concept. The Raspberry Pi, Pi mm -hmm. 3. It's okay. a technology. Yes. Okay. So with it, we we added the module, the a Bluetooth module and a Wi-Fi module. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. May I? Yep. Please. Very interesting. It's quite small and it's very yeah. light. And it's a prototype, so it should be even. It should be smaller. It's going to be even smaller. Smaller. Than this. Yes. So okay. that it can be portable. And to so you, I see like four USB. Yeah, those are ports for ports here. programming it. Okay. At the moment, we we have to to encrypt all the information. Yes, but in future we need to um, have it better. Like I talked about a golden prototype. Mm -hmm. That will be easier to feed the information there. But this is just a presentation of the concept. Right. Yes. And this is a headphone jack. Yeah, that is a headphone jack, and somewhere there is a a, a slot for memory. There right. On the other side. Okay. On the other side. Yeah. Where you have your pen. Ah, yeah, got yes. you. Yeah. There's a memory card. That you can change uh, from maybe 32 GB to 64. Wow. Yeah. So for those people who love to have a iPhone, do you want to have gani? 10? Yeah. Uh, this would be a great solution. <laughs> it's a great solution. And it's for both Android and iOS users. OK. Yes. So, so we're not limiting anyone. So you can store a lot anyone. of your data. It's yes. going to be even smaller than this. Yeah. It even has a headphone jack. Yeah. <laughs> so we <laughs> nah, Yeah. <laughs> and even in my tattoos, instead of maybe you know, watching and no kubambika nakina ethic, you can <laughs> tune into your <laughs> maybe to house music, uh, yeah. to house okay. music or any other content <laughs> that is stored in the gadget. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is this you guys' logo on the top, or what is this? No, it's uh, it's the logo for that technology. Okay. The okay. Raspberry Pi. Pi. Okay. And yeah. what are you calling now your product? Alpha, because Alpha is a big name and we want it to go as far as possible. Yeah. Because the problem we are solving is not only in Africa. Africa is just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. There's Middle East. There's uh, South America. Yeah. There's, uh, there's a lot of areas that need, um, that don't have good access to Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we are sort of offering the offline cloud now. Right. But a tangible offline cloud. Right. Yeah. Wow, congratulations. This is very impressive. Thank you so um, much. Your family must be very proud. They are. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. And, um, you know, how, how, so when you finish school, yeah. are you then planning on focusing on this full time? Yes, please. Okay. Um, <laughs> he says, yes, please. <laughs> okay, for me, school is a, I cannot say I give it 80% of my time. <laughs> okay. I try to balance. Mm -hmm. You know, we have these um, people tell us, have something that you can fall behind, you can fall back on. Yeah. Now this is what I'll, I'll not fall back on that. I'll fall forward for that. Nice. So you can imagine the time and energy I've invested in that. Yeah. Um, we have, I managed to, to fly to Rwanda to showcase the same thing and motivate youths wow. to consider being the solutions in the society. Yes, and not see it and just wait for the government to provide solutions. Well we, done. We have the solutions. Yeah. You know, for you soon, you'll be growing a little bit grayer. Ah. So <laughs> yeah. we have the solutions. We have the solutions. <laughs> you have not so the fast, not buddy. So fast. Not so fast. Black but don't crack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, the truth is uh, when you have the know-how. Yeah. You have the experience. You know a lot of things that I don't know. Yeah. I have the energy. So we need to work together. Right. I give in, I table the energy, you table the know-how, and we together 
it's step to greatness. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, um, so you've talked about traveling to Rwanda. Yeah. Um, what other sort of recognition have you received so far? Have you been able to present this to any companies? Um, we did present it to Copycat, uh, but we did not come to an amicable agreement. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and again, uh, other investors wanted to invest in it, but unfortunately, they wanted to have the lion's share, mm -hmm. and it's not their yeah. their startup. Good for you. So you're not being driven by the money. You're, no, you're thinking no, no, long term. Long term, and I have come to know that when you have value. You attract value. Yeah. You know, money is just a value vector. Yeah. When I have the value, this thing is so amazing. It's providing education to the refugee camps. Yeah. You can sink all the information from this media station to a local base somewhere in Mandera. Mm -hmm. Then that is value. I yeah. will attract grants. I yeah. will attract a lot of, you know, value. Good for you. In form of money, and I will penetrate to the market. It's really exciting yeah. and encouraging to yeah. see young people using their time and their talents, you know, yeah. for good things. Yeah. It's because I think we, too often we hear the other side of things. And so big up to you for that. But just stepping back a little bit, because you did talk about how you started. Initially, you were four. Yes, we were four. So right now, it's just you? Yeah, it's just me. Okay. Your friends, now when they look at where you <laughs> are, <laughs> do they? are you still in touch with them? Yeah, we're in touch. Yeah. Uh, but they told me... Uh, Hey Joshua, Mazia Tuoni Yokitiki wana future, there's mm -hmm. something similar to that. That is competition. Mm -hmm. And there's competition everywhere. That's and competition true. is how we get to be better, to improve. Yeah. You know, that is the feedback we get from competition is just to be better. Yeah. Be innovative, be smart. So um, I told them, if you guys are not willing to put to toil for this, then I'm going to toil alone mm -hmm. yes and i had to change the name and the concept okay yes so that i don't have any trouble with them mm -hmm. yes but they are still invited if at all they want to be part of my yeah my innovation yeah yeah so already you've surmounted quite a number of odds though just to get to this point yeah it sounds like yeah um we have been on the limelight we have been on the low like we won the award for the most innovative idea of the year in 2016. Okay. We have been on newspaper, Standard Nation, mm -hmm. but- Now uh, you're on TV. Yeah, now I'm on TV. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this your first TV interview? No, okay. I have been to Citizen and Good. K24. Good. Yeah. Good. Well, it's really nice to see you pushing for this. Yeah. And maybe then, because you've already dropped so many different nuggets that I think young entrepreneurs can learn from you. Yeah. Number one for me being sometimes even your friends, even yeah. the people that you started with, yeah. will not always be the ones yeah. to take you to the finish. Line. True. Because you said it's not that they are just, okay, there's two lessons here. Yeah. One, that there's your friends. Yeah. And they may not see the future with you. True. But that even the people that you started with, Mlianza yeah. Kujenga Pamoja, Kunawale Wata give up along the way and say, yeah. Ai tu sioni. True. And it's so important to just keep pushing and to keep growing. Yeah. That's very important. Yes, and the reason as to why that is happening is because I I base my trust in God. Mm. Um, you know, we get the vision from God, from the supreme being, from the divine intelligence for those who don't believe in a god maybe allah mm. i'd call it in uh, the divine intelligence when the vision is coming from the divine intelligence we have a vision that no man has and it's not easy to give up because considering god's people someone is in the refugee camp they need the education we have right so I will, I will think, no, I think I'm not going to give up on this now because there's a solution for someone else in the refugee camp. Yeah. Yes, and in the boardrooms, it will help share information. Yeah. In a community of practitioners like this setup, we can just have one source of information and then share the videos and the updates and all the news feed right. to the other journalist from one source okay yes so and so to be able to connect to my device yeah. that will read the info i have to have a smartphone yes you, you have to have a smartphone mm -hmm. uh, basically a phone that has a mobile access to the 
application software so that you can download our application mm -hmm. by the name Media House. That is what we are using at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we are trying even to consider the people who are using the uh, iPhones. Yeah. Yes, iOS and Android. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Amazing. Thank yeah. you so much for coming through to the show. How yeah. can people get in touch with you? I mean, I know you're still, you said this is a prototype. That is a prototype. So yeah. when do you anticipate that you'll have now the... The golden prototype? Yeah. Now that the, my mission is clear. My mission is to, you know, solve the problem we have in Africa for maybe, you see in Africa we have a lot of uh, poverty. Mm -hmm. I could chip in. In the previous so in the previous show you talked about um, them like the guy was here trying to chip in in politics yeah even if he's young yeah so for me I want to chip in in, in information sharing okay to educate people who cannot afford the school fees yeah. someone who is learning under a tree yeah, yeah so I will that is how I'm contributing to that. Good for you. Yeah, thank Good you. Good for you. Very yeah. well done. Yeah. Uh, and what a great way to start your 2020 and the new decade with a purpose that is yeah. bigger than yourself, right? Yeah. I, I yeah. think that's how we actually make a difference in the world. That's how we can actually be impactful. When we're living for, it's not just about cars and money and, you know, big houses. Yeah. It's also about giving back and in the end, those people are the ones who win the most. True. Yeah. yeah. All right. So perhaps there's someone who's watching and they want to give you a grant, God willing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Or please. someone who's connected Amen. with someone. So how can they get in touch with you? Um, on my Facebook page, mm -hmm. John Shu King. Mm -hmm. uh, John Shu King again on Instagram. John Shu King. Yes, John Shu King. Okay. J-O-N-S-H-U. Uh -huh. And then King. Okay. John Shu King. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Joshua, for coming yeah. through. Congratulations you so to you. We wish you all the success in the world. It would be great to see this Kenyan innovation yeah. by a very young man thank really you so take much. off. And so we absolutely wish you well. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys. Thank you once again. We've come to the end of our show today. Asanteni Sana for your company. Let's do this again tomorrow as we meet here from 8 a.m. for even more Full Circle with Joyce. Until then, God bless you and have a wonderful day. Ciao.